Hey guys, this is VB Theory again, and welcome to the 25th VB tutorial. So today's tutorial is going to go over how to create a shortcut. So it can be either a file or a folder, it doesn't matter. So what we need to do here first is import a library. So it's going to be linked down in the description below, and you can easily download it and put it somewhere safe. Now, in order to import it, we need to go to the Solution Explorer, right-click your project, go down to Add, Reference. Then you press Browse, and browse to your library. So it's interop.iwsh runtime library.dll. Just press Add, and then OK. But there's a major problem in VB with this library, so we need to go and fix it. So double-click my project go down to references and select your reference in this properties window you just disable embed interrupt types and save now that we've taken care of that we can go and program our application so I've went ahead and saved some time and set up the form so we have four different labels and four different text boxes, three of which are read-only. We have five buttons and you can pretty much go ahead and copy all of this. Now we need to hook up the first button which is going to select where we're going to put our shortcut. So double click that and type in dim s as new save file dialog and open and close parentheses and then we need to change the filter. So type in s dot filter is equal to shortcut and it's going to be dot lnk. So just go ahead and copy what I'm writing here. So to explain, this is going to be the string and this is the extension. So the extension of a shortcut is essentially dot lnk. If the user doesn't select a LNK file, the application is going to throw an exception. So we need to make sure first that the user presses the OK button. So type in if s.showDialog is not equal to dialog result dot OK. Then return. So if the user presses any button other than the OK button, we're not going to do any change. However, if the user presses the OK button, we need to make sure he chose a LNK file. So type in if s dot file name dot ends with dot LNK, then txt path dot text is equal to s dot file name. Okay, now we need to jump into the second set of buttons. The target could be a file or folder as I said earlier. So we need to have two separate buttons, first one of which is going to choose a file. Or if the user chooses a folder, he can go with the second button. So double click the first one, which is the file button, and type in dim o as new open file dialog. The filter again is going to be any file. So we don't have any specifications on which file type he needs to choose. Then we get to type in o dot show dialog is not equal to dialog result dot ok. Then return. And finally, txt path dot text is equal to o dot file name. 
Now we need to jump to the second button, which is the folder button. And instead of an open file dialog, we're going to use a folder browser dialog. So type in dim f as new folder browser dialog. And we're going to go ahead and type in if f dot show dialog is not equal dialog result dot ok then return and finally txt target dot text is equal to f dot selected path and we have one more button before we create our shortcut which is the icon button so double click that and instead of typing the code over again we're going to copy the open file dialog code so instead of any file it's going to be icon file the extension is going to be .ico for both of them and instead of txt path it's going to be txt icon so now we're down to our last part which is creating an actual shortcut so double click the create button and type in dim wsh as new wsh shell class the second part is going to be creating a shortcut instance type in dim shortcut as iwsh shortcut and set it equal to wsh dot create shortcut and here we need to type in the path which is for our case txt path dot text and now we can change some of the properties of this shortcut so the most important thing we need to specify is the target path so type in shortcut dot target path is equal to txt target dot text we can also change two optional settings so first one is going to be description txt description dot text and the second one is going to be icon location set it equal to txt icon dot text and finally we need to type in shortcut dot save now we have our application set up we can go ahead and try it for the path it's going to be tutorial file the target is going to be for example this PSD file the description this tutorial rocks and for the icon I don't know what to use so I guess I'll go with this WinFaves icon and press create now if we jump into the desktop we have tutorial file let's check its properties make sure it's good so the target is right the comment or description is right too the icon is good so it's all good now we can change the path I'll go tutorial folder and we'll choose a folder so I'll go personal folder for example and I'll keep the same description and icon so we have again this tutorial folder double click in it will show the folder we selected so again the properties are all working so yeah that is it for this tutorial I hope you learned something in it please rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one